chapter 11 part d briefs so basically in this one we talk about exclusivism exclusivism mean must be in a it's writing then we talk about section 59 in section 59 must be in, in writing regarding the disposition of land except leases for three years or less right and then we talk about the listing contract so listing contract must be must be in a it's a writing like contract purchase sale right so so the key factor to remember is an invitation to treat and give a copy to all and the signature of all the parties and then we talk about the competition act right so the competition act two is two part agreement in restraint of trade so basically it prohibits price fixing market sharing and then we talk about misleading advertisement misleading right misleading basically means basically you give the false information so I say I'll make you realtor in one week so I don't explain you how can I do that so and then we talk about it's enforceable contract so an enforceable contract means it should be it should be legible right so the information must be accurate and full names and occupations and then we talk about what are the three main requirements for a contract what are the three offer acceptance, offer acceptance and consideration but you don't require deposit, deposit. And uh, and then we talk about stakeholder. So where do we keep that deposit trust. into the trust, trust account yeah. by the associate broker, right? And then we talk about express warranty. Basically, mean clearly mentioned by the then builder. We, yeah. Then we talk about implied warranty. An example of a builder. So what is the builder is supposed to do? So basically, you assume good workmanship. Yeah good workmanship right then we talk about a collateral warranty so basically so basically you can sue somebody for a careless information and then we talk about doctrine of merger so basically means basically you provide the conveyance so when you transfer the title same time the seller get the get the money and then builders lien builders lien how many days? 45 days. Within 45 okay. days, right? And builder and the owner can hold 10 percent of the thing. yeah, yes. But he and he is liable for whatever the money he is a hold there. Right. And then we talk about the condition subject clauses. So basically, you you put conditions conditions like subject to financing, subject to title search, right? Condition And then conditions subsequent. So is the major major factor to to complete the deal for example so the new roof right so so there should be a new roof then and then true condition sometimes you say okay you buy the property provided you build a basement so so that's a true condition so now you, the seller has to build a basement and then we talk about the um, four ways to protect a seller for a condition president requalify time limit time clause and the fourth one covenant to attempt to satisfy the condition and then then you got to move those condition mm -hmm. and then the most important part is that then you can assign the contract provided it is not unfair for any party yes. provided it is not written in the contract that that you can't do do assignments and then the property disclosure property disclosure basically must be filled okay by the vendor yeah and it protects the buyer too buyer. The buyer. and also fiduciary duty as a rep you have and a moral duty buyer. you have a duty to protect okay that's it